Hi everyone, so let's have a quick recap before we proceed further for the next set of videos. Okay, so what we have talked till now is all about React and Redux integrations, Redux independently, how it works. Okay, so we are going to talk about Redux and React in the quick recap in this video before going to talk about the actual application like book app, weather app and all these applications we will talk. So Redux is an independent library we discussed that can be integrated with any of the JavaScript library or vanilla JavaScript, jQuery, Ember, Vue.js, React.js and all. So how we are actually integrating, particularly with React is, we are actually using React Redux as a library and then we are wrapping all these components inside a provider tag and we are using higher order components at the component level I mean, we are using connect to create higher order react component so that they can access the data they can trigger the action to the redux layer so redux is playing an important role in creating a higher order components provider is a tag under which you have to wrap all your react components okay this is how we are doing it react dom dot render this is my provider i'm passing store and my root component Okay, so connect, what connect is doing, connects, connect is connecting a React component with a Redux store. It, it is actually exposing your component to the Redux store so that they can actually access the state or they can actually trigger the action to the Redux layer like this. Profile page, here we are actually creating a higher order component. In the connect we are passing map state to props, map dispatch to props and we are passing the second argument is a component so this component now exposed to the redux store you can actually get the data from the redux store or you can actually dispatch an action to the redux store something like this so profile page here i'm using map state to props method so using this method i will be able to access active property and this active property is now available in the profile page component because profile page i am passing as a second argument in the connect so this connect will represent a Redux and this represent my React component. And now this become my container component. Okay. So this is how it is working. We are using two things, map state to props, map dispatch to props. Map state to props defines the mapping of your local props with the state which we are getting from Redux. So active. It is creating active as a props for your profile component, but the data is coming from your Redux store. You can see this on props.filter, the current props.filter equal equal to state.visibility filter. Okay, on props means the current props you have and the, the state which you are getting from the Redux. It is comparing, you can just get it, state.visibility filter. Okay and how your component is able to access it because your component we are passing as a second argument in the connect. So whatever we are getting map state to props and map dispatch to props, whatever they are doing. So this map state to props is doing nothing but exposing things to the props and this profile page will access this props dot active from there. Similarly, we have a pro map dispatch to props. Okay, what it does it is helping us to dispatch an actions to the Redux store from React component. Again, connect has a two things, map state to props and dispatch to props. We are passing profile page component. So profile page component will have some code on click, on change and from there we would be able to dispatch this something, do something, do increment, do decrement, do on to do click. Props dot. So these methods are available in the profile page using props dot do something props dot do increment do decrement props dot on to do click these methods all are available in this profile page component so there are two things accessing the state and dispatching the action okay so this is just a quick recap and how we are actually connecting to the redux is we are using the provider tag and we are using connect at the component level to create a higher order component and access the redux store but before that all the child component should be wrapped around the provider and we are creating store using create store method in the create store we are passing the root reducer the initial state and the apply middleware you might be using redux thumb saga 
logger middleware and all or your own custom middleware you have created okay so this is just a quick recap how we are combining react and redux with the react redux library which is giving us this connect functionality which is connecting the react components with the redux okay so in the next video we will talk about one simple another demo application which will be just adding something from in the state based on the user actions and whatever the state we are getting from the redux store we will subscribe that and we will receive that on our components Thanks everyone.